Hey guys, this is Daniel, more commonly known as Akira. Um, today I am going to show you guys how to install the latest adrenaline drivers onto Ryzen Pro, Ryzen 2500U and 2700U. Uh, it seems like a lot of people are having problems with them, and it's it's honestly a pretty simple method. I don't think a video is necessary for the method, but I think it's good for me to explain all the technicalities that might impede you from installing this. And there's only really one technicality, um, and that is your operating system. Uh, it might impede you from installing the driver properly just because manufacturers mess with the permissions with Windows when they sell you the computer. Uh, it, it, it doesn't work quite the same way. So if you're having any problems installing these drivers, I highly suggest you just go ahead Install the reinstall the operating system and then attempt to install the drivers again. It will 100% work. So let me show you guys that this does work. Just I've I've tried to talk it to somebody, but they they couldn't get it to work. And I think I've deduced it that it's the operating system. As you guys can see, I'm on 18.9.3, which as of um, October 1st is the latest driver. Uh, have. It, it's an HP MB X three fifty X three sixty with a Ryzen five twenty five hundred U, and it has the latest drivers. So to get to the latest driver, you obviously want to go to AMD.com. I'm gonna open this. You want to go into APU, AMD Ryzen Pro process, uh, AMD, AMD Ryzen processors, AMD Ryzen five desktop processors with Vega graphics, and you're gonna select the big uh, the Ryzen five twenty four hundred G or twenty four hundred GE. It doesn't matter. It's the same driver. You're gonna go ahead and download it. And once it's done downloading, you're gonna go into your downloads folder, and you're going to be running the executable. Okay, so I'm gonna run it like it would normally do. However, it won't install. Um, I've already got mine extracted, but you, you do need to run the executable because if you don't, it won't extract the, the executable into a raw file format that we can utilize. Um, inside of this executable, there is the INF file we need for the drivers. So we need to, you know, run this. It will tell you that it doesn't recognize the hardware, whatever. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. But anyways, I'm not going to sit there and try to install it with you guys because that's I, I'm already telling you what's going to happen. So um, after you're done installing it, it's as easy as just going into, well, or quote unquote installing it. It will fail. You're going to go into your device manager. So you open your start menu, type in device manager. You don't have to hit anything. Just type in DEV and it will pop up. You'll open your, your, your um, device manager. You're going to go into here. And display adapters and the Radeon Vega 8 graphics, of course. You're gonna come into the new window that pops up. You're gonna hit the driver tab. You're gonna go into update driver. Browse my computer for driver software manually. Let me fix from a list. And then you're gonna hit the have disk button. Now you're gonna hit the browse to finish it all off. And you're gonna wanna go into uh, local disk C, AMD. And here it is, 18.9.3. You're gonna hit that one. You're gonna hit uh, packages. Yep. And you're gonna go into drivers. You're gonna hit display and WT6, whatever the heck. Now, here's the INF file that you're gonna need. You're gonna double click that, and that's gonna open this. A huge list of all the graphics cards that are in this INF file that are supported. So um, that's why I said it doesn't matter. It's the same driver. Uh, now, here, you're gonna select. AMD Radeon Vega 8 graphics, if it hasn't been selected yet, you're going to hit next and it's going to start installing. Simple as that. Once it's done installing, it will ask you to, to restart your computer now. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead, restart your computer, and theoretically, you should be on 18.9.3. However, like I said before, if you're having any problems installing the Installing using this method, I highly suggest just going forward and erasing your operating system. Download the ISO from Windows 10 um, and get it reinstalled. Uh, 
the drivers have helped quite a bit with gaming performance. Uh, I'm really happy with this laptop, honestly. The only bug that I could find using drivers unofficially is whenever I wake the computer up from sleep, screen flickers. And it doesn't seem to do that with the, with the factory drivers. And it stays flickering until you restart it. So, um, yeah, that's one little thing that does happen because of the drivers. Other than that, though, it's just much better than before. Um, everything works a lot better. So, have at it, guys. Take advantage of this. Put up your new drivers. Get yourself updated. It's always nice to be on the newest stuff. And um, as always, stay awesome. This is Akira Daniel signing out. And... We'll see you in the next video. Oh, and if you guys want to see uh, how to reinstall your operating system video by me, let me know in the comments below. I'll probably do it. Don't forget to share the video if you think this might help anybody, okay? Bye, guys.